our second phylum of fungi that are cenocytic are the zygomycota. And the zygomycota include uh, many species of bread molds, sugar molds, or what are sometimes referred to as pin fungi. Uh, altogether, this is a fairly small phylum of about a thousand species, and as I said, they're cenocytic, or their hyphae don't have regular uh, cross walls or septations between the nuclei. Uh, most of them feed on dead material, uh, or what we call post-harvest losses. So if you see moldy strawberries or moldy fruit or moldy bread, a lot of the time what you're looking at is uh, the manifestation of a zygomycete. Not always, but a lot of the time. Uh, so they are often attributed, uh, associated with what we call post-harvest losses. Um, there are also some important insect pathogens uh, that uh, entomologists and mycologists are working on as potential agents of biological control to try and prevent insect populations from uh, getting to the point where they can damage commodities like crops and things like that. The spores of the zygomycota have lost their flagella. So uh, none of the spores in this phylum have flagella or any of the other phyla that we're going to look at. It's just the chytrids that have them. So uh, I use that word mold uh, and so it begs the question, what is a mold? It is a type of fungus, but uh, here's a definition for you. Uh, a mold is a microfungus having a well-marked mycelium or spore mass, especially an economically important saprobe. So that definition comes from, uh, believe it or not, there is a dictionary of the fungi. Uh, in other words, a mold is a microscopic fungus that we can see without magnification. Uh, we can see spots of mold on things. Uh, it feeds on dead material and it affects the things that we care about, like our fruits and vegetables, our loaves of bread, our shower curtains, and things like that. So mold is a descriptive term, not a taxonomic one. So we can't say that all molds are zygomycetes or ascomycetes or anything like that. So many molds are zygomycetes, members of the zygomycota. Uh, many molds are not. So zygomycetes that you can see macroscopically without magnification are in fact molds. So the best way to see if what you've got is a zygomycete mold is to take a look at it with magnification, uh, particularly with a microscope. So maybe you've encountered a scene like this before where uh, you find a moldy fruit or vegetable in your refrigerator. Uh, and if you look at that green fuzz on there, uh, you might say, oh, yuck, moldy. Uh, if you're a big biological nerd like me, you might take some of that green fuzz and look at it under the microscope and see that it's actually made up of uh, these smaller spore producing structures. That's what the, the green stuff is. And typically when you see that, um, it's best just to get rid of whatever moldy thing that is because the what you're looking at, the green fuzz, isn't the entire extent of the fungus. It's just uh, the spore producing part of it. The mycelium of that fungus is probably uh, pretty well enmeshed in whatever that particular food item is. So uh, the zygomycetes get their name. Uh, you will often read that it is because they are the zygote fungi. They produce a zygote. But uh, what I learned from a mycologist is that that zygo refers to uh, the Greek word that means yoke, like you might use to yoke two oxen together. Uh, which is where we get the word zygote from anyway, referring to a union. So there's a certain spore stage. Uh, the sexual spores of the zygomycota kind of resemble a yolk, or so it was thought. So here's an example of a zygosporangium uh, here between two suspensor cells amongst a bunch of hyphae. Uh, so that is where the zygomycetes get their name. So here we have a life cycle 
of the uh, zygomycota, just our typical representative. And you can see it's got both a sexual and an asexual part to its life cycle. It can produce spores uh, by meiosis or by mitosis. Uh, and it might be a little bit difficult to follow along with what's going here. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is draw out this life cycle for you. 